Hey folks, I'm Mr. Hartzler and I wanted to show you how to do part four of activity 3.1, uh, there we go, point two. And the instructions for it are listed kind of above right here on the top right hand side of your screen. And the first thing we need to do is to program the server, sorry, servo, to go to position negative 127 and that is for two seconds. Then we change that up and we go to a bunch of different positions and for varying time lengths. And uh, let's get started on that. That is the, for the servo, so that's this little piece right here. Don't try and spin this with the robot on. It's gonna wanna maintain its current position and you will do harm to it if you try and move it. It also has mechanical stops. It can only move uh, partially towards one side and then the other. So if you try and force it past those, you will break the mechanical stops on the inside. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see it a little better. There you go. You're also gonna be looking out for this little peg and kind of keeping an eye on these holes when we're gonna see it move. So let's get started by typing in our code. First thing we have to do is set servo. And we do that by telling it which thing we're looking at and we call it servo. You can always double check that in your motors and sensors setup. And down here, port nine, we just called it servo. Uh, you can always do that to kind of double check where everything's at and what you named it. So we're gonna cancel, we don't wanna change anything there. Now we have to tell it the position and we go to negative 127 and we do that for two seconds. So I want to wait two seconds. Then I go to my next one and I'm gonna do my little backslashes again and this is step two. Step two says to set my servo and I just called it servo to position negative 63 and I do that for three seconds and then I need to do step three and that is to set servo I call it servo and where do I set it for that is zero and how long do I do it I do it for two seconds I go down and now it's step Four. Let me scroll a little bit there. All right, we're on step four. Step four says to set servo. Still have to declare it servo, and then I have to set it to position 63. And then I wait for three seconds. And the last one, step five. I set servo, I call it by what it is, and then I set it to 127. And this one is for two seconds. All right, I need to check all my code, make sure it all looks good. Servo to negative uh, 127 and I wait. Then I set it to negative 63 and I wait. This one's for three seconds. Then I set it to zero and I wait two seconds and so on. You can always comment out to the right by doing two backslashes and say set servo to negative 127. This one's kind of simple, but again, I've talked about it in my previous videos. The more complicated your code gets, the more important it is to comment off to the sides so you know exactly what it is. Even these little steps here, if you're one of my students on a test or something like that, providing me with which step you're on and everything and, and labeling each one by the number is incredibly helpful and will save both of us a bunch of time and make it easier for me to give you as many points as I can on that assessment. All right, we're gonna compile program up in the top center. There are no codes that popped up down below. So let's uh, download the robot and uh, we'll hit start. I'm not gonna pause the mic this time because it's pretty quiet. And you'll be able to see down here too, if you look at the screen, it will change and uh, tell you underneath power what the servo is doing. So we start here, keep an eye on this little guy right here. It moves, it's waiting, it moves, it waits. Now we're at zero, now we're at 63, now we're at 127. You can see that little number down there changing. All right, that was it, folks. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, please click that like button and uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching, folks. I appreciate it.